Okay, let me look at the homework. Like I said, I haven't looked at it this morning. See if anybody has sent in any questions overnight, which I doubt. And 120. Let me look in 155 just to make sure. Sometimes they go to math 155 for some reason. I don't know why. There's two right there. Let me go ahead and move those over. See if there's any more. I don't think I see any more. Those are calculus. Those are calculus questions. OK, math 120. <clears throat> and remember, there's no bonus questions on this test, so you're going to be pretty much on your own. I'm looking for my questions. Hold on. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to start from the back because that way that's the more difficult questions. I don't know if we've covered some of these, so I'm just going to cover them again because I've covered them in other classes. Uh, I don't think any of y'all will complain since most of y'all haven't done half the homework, so I don't think it'll really matter. 7.25 slash 2. 7.25 slash 2. Seven point two five slash two. And we have done one like this. I do not know if it's the same one, so I'll just go ahead and do it in different colors. I know we did one like it, but it's not going to hurt. Let's see, green, orange, pink, and a blue. So we got Z is equal to 1.07. And Z is equal to negative 0.17. Well, that's a negative 1.07. And negative 0.17. And Z is equal to 0.35. And Z is equal to negative 1.53. The directions say Determine, no, the last one we did, I think it was to the right. I'm not sure, but I've done three classes of 120. I've done these problems the last two days, so I have no idea. That lies to the left, and I'm going to put left up here in red because when I put my board up, I want to make sure I remember to the left. Okay, so... Of course, I have my sheet already. And I bet there's still people out there that still haven't copied these sheets out. That's what gets me. <clears throat> Zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, now, what do we need to do? We need to plot negative 1.07. So 1.07, negative 1.07 would be right about there. You have a work email. Oh, I bet somebody sent me a homework question during class. 
Ah, uh, Hubert, be quiet. Probably Mr. Smith. It definitely was. There we go. Listen, I'm not complaining. Getting this class to send the questions like pulling hen's teeth. All right, so this is negative infinity. And this is positive infinity. So we need to find negative 9999 to negative 1.07. So we pull up our handy dandy calculator. And we type in second bars, normal CDF, negative 9999 to negative 1.07. And by the empirical rule, let's see, the empirical rule for the orange, for the blue, let's see, that's going to be all this together up to negative one is 16%. So I'm going to say just off the of cuff, 15%. Because this is off almost a tenth. I'm just going to say that take off maybe maybe 14.5 or 0 0.14, 0 0.1450, somewhere in there. So let's see. I may be, you know, short to tail, so it could be a little bit off. So back to the and hit paste. And we get 0.1423. So blue is the probability of Z equal to negative 1.07 is 0.1423. And that's to the left. All right, so now let's go back to our handy dandy picture. And there goes one mouse. Hold on a second, I just dropped my mouse. And negative 0.17 in green. Negative 0.17, well there's negative 0.5. There's negative 0.25. So negative 0.17 would be right about there. This is 50% right there. So our answer is going to be less than 50% by the empirical rule. There is left of point. We know that this right here is 0 0.5, so that'd be 17%. And this right here would be 8%. So I'm going to say this right here, let's see, points, maybe 6%. So I'm going to say by the empirical rule, we're talking about, I said, did I say 6%? So 44%, I'm going to say around 44%. No, this is 0.17. So negative 9999 to 0.17. Second, enter. Negative 999 to negative 17. 
0.4325. So the probability to the left of negative 0.17 is equal to 0.4325. Okay, next question. Point three five. Well, point five would be right about here. So point three five, that's point two five. So point three five would be right about there. And we know that that's 50%. We know that this is half. We know that this is a quarter. So a quarter would be like 8%. So half between eight, say that's about half of eight is two or four. So that's 12%. So I'm gonna go 62%. Empirical rule, I'm going to say 0.62% or 0.62 by the empirical rule. This is 0.35. So handy dandy calculator. Second entry. And that's 0.35, so I'm going to delete. I'm going to put a zero there. And 3.5 here. And enter. 0.6368. So by Z being 0.35, we get an area of 0.6368. And now the last one is negative point one point five three, and that's in orange. Negative one point five is right here, so one point five three be right beside it. And that's going to be this area right here. It's closer to the tails, so our, re, our, our empirical rule may be off a little bit. That's 2.5. Half of 13 is 6.75. So I'm going to say this is 6. So 6 plus 2.5 is 8.5, so I'm going to say 0 0.0850. And second entry. And we're going to change this to negative 1.53. And I get 0 0.0630. 0 0.0630. And that Z is equal to negative 1.53. And there's four good test questions. So let's type them in. I get 0.1423. And I get 0.4325. And I get 0.6368. And then 0 0.0630. It's a miracle. And I'll put that up for a couple of seconds for the two people that are going to watch the video before the test. Uh, 
how you do it. And right behind this one is another curve. So that takes care of that one. Let's see who's sent in a question. Somebody send in a question. Did you really send in one, Mr. Smith, or were you just kidding? No, I was just kidding because uh, okay. you were like, I was making I, sure. I feel, I feel like I got a good handle on this. Good. Well, that's a good thing. Not many people do. All right. 7.27 slash 3. 7.2. 7 slash 3. Okay, this is another one like that. So we'll do this one and then we'll move on to other ones because I think that's enough on this one, but we'll go ahead and do it. So Z is 0.73. Z is 0.73. Z is 0 0.06. These are all on the right side. Z is negative 111. And orange, 1.32. And the directions say to the right. So I'm gonna put that in red. So I can, let me make sure one more time. 0 0.73, 0 0.06, negative 1.11, and 1.32. Okay, here we go. So the first one is 0.73. So that's a half. Let me do that right quick. 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So that's one half. We want 0.73. Well, 0.75 is right here. The so 0.73 be to the left of that. And they want the right. Well, by the empirical rule, this would be half, so that would be 17. And half of 17 is eight. So I'm gonna say this is probably nine, probably eight and a half. So I'm gonna say this is 8.5. And this is 16. So that's 24.5. So by the empirical rule, I'm gonna say, I think I said 24.5, 0 0.2450. And this end right here is 9999. So we're going to go from 0.73 to 9999. Second bars, normal CDF, 0.73 to 9999. And I got 0 0.2450, 0 0.2327 is an answer. So 0.2327 is the answer for the pink. Now 0 0.06. 0 0.06, well that's 0 0.5, that's 0 0.25 right there. So 0 0.06 is gonna be right there, right to the right. So I'm on, I'm on, I'm just going to say right off the, it's going to be less than 50%. I don't know, 0 0.49, 0 0.48. I'm going to say 0 0.4800. Zero, zero. So we're going to go from 0 0.06 to 9999. 
second entry and change that to point zero six and enter point four seven six one point four seven six one next negative one point one one well this is negative one point five this is negative one point two five so half of two is one so that's going to be that right there And that's going to be negative 1.1. By the empirical rule, we know this is 84%. So I'm reading it this way because this is 50. So this is half a quarter, half of third is seven, half of seven is three, and half of three is 1.5. So I'm going to say 0 0.8550. So now we go to our handy dandy calculator. And I got to put in a insert. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put in. Oops. Second insert negative. One point and then I just type in one one and enter point eight six six five point eight six six five and there's our oh we gotta do one more one point three two one point three two one one point five one point two five one point three be in the middle So that's these. So that's going to be 1.32. Uh, let's see. Half would be seven. Half here would be three. Okay, so that's 1.5 on to seven. 8.5 and five. What's eight and five? I have no idea. Somebody tell me what eight and five is. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. 13. Appreciate your help. Point one three five zero. It's always nice that I can count on the class to communicate. Second entry. And I'm going to plug in 1.32 and enter. 0 0.0934. I was way off there, probably because I can't add very good. 0934. Oh nine three four. And there you put zero one point three two. I don't I know if that matters or not. Yeah. I kept uh, that space in case I need another negative. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that's the trick you can use to you know keep the <coughs> place values open so you can put in negatives. If you got another one, you put a negative right there. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't add right. That's 2.35. It should have been 2.35 plus, I think I said 8. So 8 plus 2 is 10. So that's where I messed up. I said 8 plus 5. All right, so that's that. Okay, now these are four good test questions. And remember, I told you there was two test questions. There was two types. One where 
the mean is zero and the standard deviation of one, so we just did eight of those. So I'm gonna find one now that has a mean of not zero and not standard deviation of one. Let me go ahead and answer this question. Point negative seven plus C is point two three two seven. And the next one is point four seven six one. And the next one is at point eight six six five. And the next one is point oh nine three four. And just to show that again, there is the sheet. So we did one with four on the left and we did one with four on the right. There's eight test questions right there. So now let's move on and try to find one where the mean is not zero and not one. So let me get rid of this one. Let me go to this one, 7.225 slash 3. 7.225 slash 3. 7.225 slash 3. See if I can pick the right one. Yes. So we got a mean of. 49 and a standard deviation of seven. Great. Why can't they just make them 10 or five? Oh, and they want to know what is the probability that your score is going to be greater than or equal to 40? So mean is 49, 49 plus seven is 56. 56 plus 7 is 63, I think. 63 plus 7 is 70, and y'all better check my math. 49 minus 7 is 42. 42 minus 7 is 35. 35 minus 7 is 28. Somebody please check those. And give me a thumbs up if that's right or not. All right. So where is 40? Well, 40 is right here. And they want to know greater than 40. So greater than 40 is to the right. So that means 9999. And if you have an old calculator, you got to change 40 into a z-score. You have a new calculator, you just type in the mean and the standard deviation. And <coughs> do it, calculate it, not have to do this. So that's negative 9 over 7, which is equal to negative 1 point something. Let's see, 03, I don't know, what is it? What's well, nine divided by seven, somebody? Two decimal points. Seven, one, nine, one time. That'll leave two, one, one to two, 20. 1. 1. 1.06. Help me out. 1.29. 1.29. Hell, I can't add. 1.29. So that's 1.29. So negative 1.29 to infinity. So let's type that in. So we got it already right here. So let's just type second. And that's going to be 1.29. 1.29. By the empirical rule, uh, I'd say it's going to be kind of like the one we just did. Um, yeah. I'd say it's going to be more negative one point. Oh, that's supposed to be negative one point two nine. 
And since it's more than our last one, which was whatever it was, I'm going to say it's going to be a little bit more. OK, I'll just go ahead and hit enter. 9015. So the area under this curve is 9015. 0.9015. So there's a 90% chance or a 0.9 probability that your score is going to be above 40. 0.9015. Point nine zero one five. Point nine zero one five. Okay. Uh, now wait a minute. I was less than. I'm sorry. So take that from one. I did. I thought it was said to the right. I'm sorry. Somebody tell me what point nine zero be point zero. Point zero nine eight five. Point zero nine eight five. Well, I can't type and I can't add either. They wanted to left right here. I thought that said greater than. I'm sorry. So I got to change that on the whiteboard. Hold on. It was less than. So I'm going to take my green marker. It's less than. So then we just found this. And that is point the complement of this point zero eight no point zero nine eight five point zero nine eight five I think. Sorry about that. Point zero nine eight five is the green side. Okay. Let me see if there's another one that somebody sent that's on into 7.2. Miss Turner, did we do yours? 7 yes, sir. We did? Yes, sir. Okay, here's one I don't know if we did. 7.2, 25, 15. 7 7.2, 25, 15. 7 7.2, 25, 15. Here we go. I know we didn't do this one because I didn't get this one until like yesterday. And please make sure you read the inequality right, unlike your teacher. Probability of your score being less than or equal to 41. And we have a mean of 45, great. And a standard deviation of nine. So go to the whiteboard. And that's going to be 45. Nine will be 56 or 54. Nine will be 63. Nine will be 72. Nine from 45 will be 36. 9 from 36 will be 27. 9 from 27 will be what? 18. Y'all check my math, please. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. All right. 41. 41, well, this right here, half of 9 is 4. So there's 40 right there. So they want 41. 41 is right here. I'm sorry. Yeah, 41. And that's going to be what? 41 minus 45 is negative 4 ninths. And somebody give me two decimal places of negative four over nine, please. Be point four something. What is it? 
Four divided by nine, please. It's four, four, four. Four, four, four. Thank you. And they want to know less than or equal to. So negative nine, 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 nine to negative point four, four. Empirical rule. This is a little bit of half, so I'm going to say this is 18. 18 and 16 is 34. So I'm going to say it's around 3400 zero, zero by the empirical rule. So take our handy dandy calculator and go second bars normal CDF negative 9999 <clears throat> to negative 0.44. And we get point three two point three three zero zero point three three zero zero, and that is our answer. So there's a thirty three percent chance that you're going to make below a forty one. Thirty three percent chance or point three three probability. So let's type that in, point three three zero zero. Okay, how's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling good? Uh, I'm trying to find one more, one more. Well, that's pretty much all the top ones. That's 725. And we did that one. Okay, has anybody got any homework question they will, that they didn't send in? Well, I'm not going to do it if you didn't send it in. You got to at least meet me halfway. So. Nobody's got any questions. Everybody's ready for the test. Okay. We'll see when the test is over with. All right, I'll go ahead and stop the recording. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna say anything. So I guess that means everybody's not knowledgeable of the subject.